So what we're looking at here is a cross section of a half inch shark bite cap. Um, this is the sleeve I removed out of it before I cut it in half. So that simply sits there and when you push your pipe into the fitting the sleeve goes right into the end of the pipe. And how it works when you push this in you can see the uh, I call them stainless steel teeth that are here. Um, they simply slide in past them and can't come out because the teeth are actually um, spring loaded and uh, they basically bite the pipe. That's why they call the shark bite. But what this little plastic part in the end does here, because of the way that it's made, this piece of um, plastic that's inside there, the white piece, um, this one slides back on the outer piece and pushes the teeth down, releasing the fitting and uh, allowing you to to take it, to remove the uh, fitting off the pipe. Example of that is like so. There's your sleeve that's there. You take your pipe, something that you do first, put your mark on it. Seven eighths of an inch for half inch. Some people say one inch, but if you can push it in there one inch, all the power to you. Um, so it's just a matter of pushing in like so. You know that's buried in there. Um, there's a few different things you can use. To remove it, this clip comes with, uh, I'm going to pan this out a little bit, this clip comes with most fittings and it's just a matter of pulling back on that little plastic like so and it comes out that easy. If you don't get a clip like that, um, a couple of other things you can use little talon clips. This is what I use to put pipe, um, string pipe along in the ceiling from the floor joists. Just a matter of doing the same thing. You're just going to push it back like so and it too comes out just as easy. And if you don't have any of the sort, you can take a 5 8 spanner or a crescent wrench, hook it on there, and remove it out of the fitting. So it's that simple. There is no tightening of the uh, fittings. They just simply slide in and that's it. Years ago they had fittings that were called acorn fittings and they were very similar to these. They had uh, teeth very similar to this but they were weren't constructed constructed nearly as well as the, the shark bite fittings are. Anyway, I hope that's helped people understand them a little bit better. And uh, best of luck if you're doing a repair. Have a great day.